Joining us now is environmentalist John Ekoko. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. Good morning. Good morning. It's my pleasure. <laughs> is this issue, because since 2012 we've been having these issues of flooding, properties destroyed, lives lost, is it really hard not to crop? Yeah, thank you. We've been having the issue since 1948. Mm. Not since 2012. Yeah. So it, it goes way longer. Yes, way, that way is longer. drastic ones. Mm. The truth about it is that we do not seem ready to swallow the bitter pill. Really? We are just looking for palliatives. Mm, mm, somebody said water doesn't have hands or legs. Are you with me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, it doesn't mean that water will not come and take over your house. You are the one that will prevent the water. I've been coming here maybe since 2012 or thereabout. Please check from time. Don't throw waste indiscriminately. Up till today, the campaign has not achieved much. But this issue yes. is not just about no, no, waste. I'm, I'm coming. I'm taking it one by one. All right. Number two, don't build along the flood plains. You can see that of Magudo now. Mm. The government has given them notice that they are going there now to destroy all the houses, about 300, along the flood plains. These are the, you know, the tips of the iceberg we are coming. Number three, we are saying build infrastructure. Let there be along the water banks clear demarcation. If possible, strengthen them with what concrete walls so that the water will be contained. Very many areas till today as I'm talking don't have it. Number four, we've also said that which one should I even take first now? Going further, let's address the climate change. Hmm. We've been screaming about this since 2013 in the environmental society. Well, thank God, everybody's getting affected, both Europe, America, and Africa. Mm -hmm. So we are taking combined action. Look at what happened in Brazil recently when the whole of Europe All had right. to step in. Yes. Now, I still say, even if the developed world refuse to act, we can spray aerosol into the atmosphere and take care of climate change. Oh, really? Yes, we can. Except that it will affect some other person negatively. And, but if you look at Nigeria today, Quickly. the way we are, the government itself needs to come up with short-term, medium-term, long-term plans. Mm. You get? Look at our uh, infrastructure here. Look at our waterworks. Look at our pipes. Look at our drainage system. Of course, all of them contribute. It's not as if it is a one um, factor thing. And because you have allowed little, small, small things from different areas to congregate, they have become overwhelming. Mm -hmm. If you tackle them one by one, what do we find? As, as you take care of the water parts, keep them free. The water flows. The Lagos government says that, oh, Atlantic Ocean has risen. Yeah. Why did it not rise in Skipo? in the Netherlands. They are below the sea level. Do we have water pumps that will pump the water back? We don't, we don't even have that. All right. All right. When, you t when a lot of people say, um, stop building on uh, flood plains, along flood plains, we have a control agency that is supposed to ensure that no one builds on flood plains. What we will see is uh, people build, uh, the agency just look the other Thumbs way. Turns a blind eye. Turns a blind eye. Even in as much as we have to blame the people, what about these government agencies? Yeah, um, the agencies themselves are hijacked. By they are not able to function. They are hijacked, one, by the impunity in the system, two, by the corruption in the system, three, by the hunger. Okay. So, so that if you just stretch a little to them. Mm. They are satisfied. Mm. Secondly, even if they want to act and order comes from above, that is the end of it. You know? But that is not to excuse their seeming ineptitude. Mm. The point is that before now, it has not become this bad. Mm. The Magodo issue is just one in, I mean, in point. 
until the building now fell and killed four people and, you know, broke down a house on the low. They saw the house on the high side. They saw the one on the low land. Wow. And everybody turned a blind eye. But today now, 300 houses have been here, Matt, to be so, pulled so up. Let's yeah. quickly look at uh, short-term solutions, yeah. mid-term solutions, and even long-term long solutions, Fantastic. quickly. Now, let's start with the short-term. One thing we need to get clear is that this reforestation, greening of the surface, as simple as it is, it is what you call low-impact development. Even abroad, where there's been a lot of development that is concrete development, it is not even able to cope hmm. with these natural effects again. All right. So they are destroying most of the concretes they built in the past mm -hmm. to plant trees, to green areas, mm -hmm. which can help to absorb. Uh, right. uh, unfortunately, we need to end the discussion here now, but then the conversation still continues in every platform that we can find ourselves. Johnny Cuckoo, environmentalist, thank you so much for coming to TVC Breakfast.